All right, in this example, we're going to write the standard form equation of a parabola with a vertex at the origin and a directrix of y equals negative 5 over 6. And again, you don't have to, but I have already sketched a little graph that corresponds to the information that we're given. So there's our directrix, y equals negative 5 over 6. We know that the vertex is at the origin, and well, that would tell me that my parabola would have to be opening upwards in this case. So again, kind of the basic form that we are trying to, you know, fill in. We have x squared equals 4p times y. And again, the only real value we have to come up with here is the value for p. We just have to deduce the value for p, and then um, we plug it in and we're done. Really not much else to it. So we've seen um, that if the directrix, okay, so the directrix has... In this case, we can write it as y equals negative p, and we know that our focus is at the point 0 comma p. Okay, so basically it says to get the focus, just kind of take the opposite sign. So we've got uh, negative 5 over 6, so our p value would just be 5 over 6. So that tells us our focus is at 0, 5, 6. And again, you don't maybe even necessarily have to think about that, but just to point out a couple things. And again, now we have our p-value. I mean, that's really the important part here. So our p-value will be 5 over 6. Again, just based on the directrix, you can just take the opposite sign, and that's your p-value. And now it's just a little bit of arithmetic. So x squared equals 4 times, well, let's plug in 5 over 6 for our p-value, times y, and, well, we can simplify this down a little bit. Let's see, uh, 4 over 6 would reduce to 2 over 3. 2 times 5 would be 10. We would still have the 3 in the denominator. So it looks like we would get x squared equals 10 thirds times y, and that would be our equation.